How do we use this right angled triangle to prove these trig ratios? Let's take a look. First things first, we need to find the other lengths in this triangle. So because this angle is 45 and this is 90, we can use angles in a triangle adding up to 180 degrees to find this missing angle to be 45 degrees. Now, what does that mean? If both of these angles are the same, it means the opposite lengths are also the same. It's an isosceles triangle. So to find them is pretty simple. I can call this x and call this x and use Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem, <laughs> Pythagoras theorem states that if you square the shorter sides, add them together, it's equal to the longest side squared. So my longest side is 1 opposite the right angle. And then my shorter sides are x. So x squared, x squared equals 1 squared. Two of the same thing, 2x squared is 1. And then we root both sides. When you root a fraction, you root the numerator, 1, and you root the denominator, root 2. And finally, using Sokotoro again, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if I was to do sine of 45, I would do the opposite, which is 1 over root 2, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. And when we do cos of 45, cos of 45 is the adjacent divided by 1. And you can see they give us the same value. Finally, tan. Tan of 45 degrees is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So when we divide them, we're left with 1. And that's how we prove these trig ratios. Nice.